What is up guys, welcome to another video and today we have got some more Need for Speed information on the, the past few days I've just been Need for Speed, Need for Speed, Need for Speed but it is E3 2015 week so obviously we're going to be giving you every single piece of information that comes out of E3 and today we're going to be talking about the tuning as well as Black Box and the devs themselves. Um, there's quite uh, there's quite a lot of interesting information I found in this article which I'll put in down, in the, down in the description if you want to go look. Uh, there's, there, there's a lot of interesting information which I want to discuss about both the devs the devs that are actually working on the game and obviously the tuning and you know how the tuning is going to work etc etc so without further ado let's get straight into today's video Okay, so firstly, we'll talk about the devs, because there was something really interesting which I found on Twitter. I actually got linked to it by uh, Tactical Mustang, um, otherwise known as... I'll, put, I'll just put a link on the screen now, that's just so much easier than saying his name. Uh, but yeah, they're, 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 he, he linked me this, and I thought this was really interesting. So, um, the quote goes as far to say, um, we went as far as making sure that we had people that worked on previous titles back in the studio. Um, so we have people from Carbon, we have people from Underground, um, we, then he goes on to say we have pe people from, from Criterion who worked on their titles, people from Black Box, <laughs> and then obviously people from you know the newly founded Ghost Studios. And then he says the amount of knowledge in the Ghost Studios about Need for Speed is just insane. So, um... I wasn't really expecting to see any black box devs back at Need for Speed. Obviously, there was still a lasting few uh, that managed to, you know, to stay there over the years. But that's pretty cool. I and mean, we've got, a, we've kind of got the devs that really. I mean, obviously, he doesn't, he doesn't say explicitly who the devs are. But just to have the devs that worked on the Underground and Carbon games is a really good thing in itself. What that will do in itself, it will basically give it more of an Underground Carbon feel. I think you'll find it. It's starting to feel like the Ghost games. Studios, it's like a family if you know what I mean. Uh, you've got get people from different games, so you've got people from like Rivals and Underground, and then like you know whatever. But they all have the same common interest, and they're all kind of clicking together, and they're kind of making what we're seeing right now, which seems to be the perfect Need for Speed reboot, at least in my opinion. Uh, so I just thought that was insane. I thought I'd point that out uh, again. Shout out to the guy who mentioned it. His name was obviously on the screen earlier. Uh, but yeah, I thought that was just a really, really cool thing, you know, the fact that we've got devs from Carbon and, and Underground, as well as people from Criterion and stuff, I just thought that was amazing. So, uh, yeah, we'll go on to the next point. Okay, so next we're going to talk about the tuning. So if you guys haven't already realised, you can actually, you know, tune your car to make it feel how you want it to feel. So if you want the car to feel really drifty, you can do it that way. You know, if you want your car to feel really grippy, you can do it that way. And we actually got some images yesterday on the uh, on the Need for Speed Instagram that kind of just proved this to us, you know, showed it to us uh, in all of its depth. So we're going to go ahead and look at the first image now. This is the, this, this is the, um, the Porsche, obviously, that we saw from the trailer. Obviously, it, it's... It's not as customised, and a few things are different, because obviously this guy likes this car and whatnot. Uh, but he's going into the tuning options now, and as you can see, the handling style, there's a kind of like a... Okay, so, okay, so it's kind of like carbon, how you can do it. So you can either go all the way to drift or all the way to grip. Uh, if you want to have the car very, very grippy, you can do that. However, if you want it to slide a bit, you can do it all the way to the left. Now, I imagine how this is going to work is, so, uh, you know, in carbon, when you uh, put performance parts on, you can actually decide whether you want to have more torque or, you know, what, what not. You know, you can decide whether you wanted to have the NOS be more powerful or whether you wanted it to last longer. I imagine it's going to be a similar style here. So once you have, you know, Know, unlock certain parts on the car such as say I don't know NOS uh, you'll be able to decide what you want to do with the NOS uh, and as you can see here there's a few sections that are actually locked within the trailer so I'm assuming that is because uh, you know, they haven't either got that part on the car, because uh, as we can see on the other image, which we'll show you in a minute, some of them are actually already, like, unlocked. So I'm assuming you're going to have to actually get certain performance parts to unlock certain aspects of the tuning. But basically, you can actually tune your car in the game. Uh, you guys know how tuning works, you know. You can make your car more drifty or more grippy. It's not going to be super in-depth from this point. Uh, image alone. Um, I, I mean, I hope there would be uh, in-depth, uh, you know, tuning for those who wanted it. But this is something simple for the novice to come along with. You know, if you just want to make your car like a very grippy car, you can do that. If you want to make it drifty, you can do that. And it's just an easy way of, you know, making your car just a very, very kind of 
suited to one style. So if you want a car that is just literally for drift, you can do that. However, if you want a car that's, you know, for circuit racing, you can do that also. Uh, so that's really interesting to see. Uh, you know, I mean, there's actually an option to make it so you can have brake drifting in the game, which I think is pretty cool. Uh, you know, if you don't like that, you can turn it off. If you do like that, you can turn it on. It's really up to you. Uh, but overall, pretty impressed with the tuning. It's a very, very interesting aspect. And I can't wait to see how that actually plays out in the full retail release. And that's actually all the news we know for today. So, uh, yeah, if you guys, you know, found, found this helpful, please hit the like, subscribe. Uh, if you are interested in Need for Speed and you want to find out more news about the game, please subscribe to the channel because we are going to be giving it you here, you know, as fast as possible. You know, obviously I was at school today, so it was kind of limited on how fast I could actually get the content out. Uh, but yeah, for your fastest and latest Need for Speed information, uh, subscribe to the channel. And I will see you in the next video. Uh, I guess, guys, just stay safe. And yeah, I'll see you in the next one. Peace.